Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell. It will be the only way that you'll be updated when we upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel and if it's your first time, please give up the thumbs up, give, put a notification, you'll always be the first to be updated. In today's video, we are going to look at calculation of gratitude in the UAE under what you call the limited contract remember in the uae there are two different types of contracts we have what we call the limited and the unlimited contract but in today's video we are going to look at what you call a limited contract first of all what you need to know or what you need to to understand what is gratitude and who is entitled to gratitude first of all when we talk about gratitude gratitude is just a portion of money that your company gives you or that kind of appreciation your company gives you after completing a given period of work or given a, a given period of service with that company. It is normally entitled by the government or it is normally a mandate by the government for companies that hire people from outside the country, expatriates, to give them a token of what we call appreciation after completing a given service at the end of it all. But remember, when we look at uh, gratitude itself, we look at contracts which must be uh, something that also to consider or something to put in mind is what we call contracts that which type of contract do you have with that company it also a uh, very quite very important as you're going to determine what your gratitude is going to be remember in this video we just want to make mainly first to focus on what we call uh, a limited contract by the way, something that you need to, to be reminded that when you're signing contracts, you must be very careful to, 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 to actually read whatever is being put in the contract because it's contrary, very important. It will give you what exactly, how much basic salary you'll have, uh, what kind of job you'll have, uh, who, is your, who is your sponsor, and uh, everything provided, accommodation or transportation provided in that case. So we look at the limited contract and we say that the limited contract, this means that the employees agrees to stay with the company for the set date and the number of years. And that means that you're resigning before the end of this period, you lose what you call your labor rights. So that's what we call a limited contract. You agree to stay with that company for a given period of time, signing the contract. Let's say for example, it is two years, meaning you will stay with that company for two years. And when you resign before those two years, uh, uh, get off or before you complete the two years that means you lose your labor rights which labor rights we're we talking about you may not be compensated or you may not even be given your gratitude as the government says in this video we want us practically to see how can you calculate the gratitude under what you call a limited contract remember a limited contract may be for two, three years uh, or two years depending on what you've agreed and what kind of nature of work that you're going to do at that time. So, but remember, gratitude is calculated basing on what you call 21 days of your salary. That is what you call gratitude. They normally count 21 days uh, each year, 21 days uh, out of each year that you get to, to, to complete in that company. And that is where the basic or that's where gratitude will be calculated uh, basing on that. We are going to look at one example and we are just going to assume that someone basic salary is 10,000 uh, dirhams. That is what this person is earning. That his salary is what you call 10,000 dirhams. So this is what we are talking about and say, for example, we are assuming, we are just assuming that someone's basic salary is 1,000 uh, dirhams. That is 10,000 dirhams. So let us try to see how can you really calculate the daily per day that if you are getting 10,000 dirhams every month how much are you earning per day remember each month we take an example each month has 30 days so you get the basic salary you divide by 30 days of that month so when you get 10,000 dirhams divide by 30 that means you are going to get 333.30 per day meaning that a person who is earning 10,000 dirhams per day per, per month each day is making 333.3 per day 
because when you get to cal when you get to multiply 333.3 by day 30 by day times the 30 you're still going to go back to what we call the 10,000 dirhams but remember that in this case when we are looking up when we are talking about uh, gratitude in what you call limited contract if you've not completed if if less than one year that means you don't not get gratitude if you've not completed a company with that one year uh, you do not get gratitude that's what i was telling you that sometimes it happens that you get to lose what you call your labor contracts at that time and if in a limited contract yeah, in that company you are one year to five years of service then you get 21 days of your salary which is your gratitude 21 days of your salary we are talking about we are talking about these 21 days of what we call the basic salary of what we call uh, 10,080 and in that company if you are five years and more let's say five years to uh, five years seven years ten more, or twenty years then that means you'll be entitled to what we call 30 days of your salary as your gratitude so in this example we are going to take we are going to first look at a person who is one to five years of service for example you've been in that company between one to five years let us try to see how much you are earning or how much you are going to earn as your gratitude and in this case we are going to look at a person who first completes his two years with that company how much that does person get as his gratitude or what how much that person gets as her gratitude so in this example we are looking at a person who has been in this company for two years how much does this person get as his gratitude remember when we talk up when we talk about the daily wage per day we shall get the daily wage per day times the 21 days remember we say that if you've been to that company one year and above then you are entitled to what you call 21 days of your basic salary so meaning that this person remember we say that this person in a day is making or is she is making 3 3, 333.30 a day that is what is earning every day he goes to work for 30 days so we get that figure then times the 21 days that means this person he will be getting 6999.30 dirhams that is per year so that means that your company each year gives you 6999.30 as a token of what we call gratitude that is for one year right so to get the to get the total of what you get after two years we shall get to get the total we shall get the two years which we shall get that six thousand nine hundred ninety nine point three zero then we multiply by the number of years then we shall get uh, thirteen thousand nine hundred ninety eight point six dirhams meaning that if this person is to resign or if this person completes his contract after two years he will be getting uh, 13,998.6 dirhams as his gratitude hope that is okay you get per day then you multiply you, you multiply by the number of 21 days that is for a person who is between one to five years so that is how much you'll get then in example C, what does a person get if that person is five years and more in that company? We are going to get the same amount which this person is making in, in a day, which is 333.30 per day. That is what the person is earning if your basic salary is 10,000 dirhams. So we multiply by the number of days that is being given of your salary. Remember, if you are five years and more in Dubai under limited contract, you are given 30 days. So meaning that if you get 333.30 um, dirhams per day times the 30 days, you will be getting 9,999 dirhams that is per year. So meaning that if you've been in that company for five years, you will be getting each year this company has to be to pay you 9,999 dirhams. What about 
for the five years. Let's say, for example, now you've completed five years. So you just get the 9,000 times 99, uh, 9,999 dirhams times the five years. So meaning that when you get to multiply this person, he's going to be earning, or when this person is resigning after completing the contract of five years, this person is going to be earning 49,995 dirhams. Hope I've tried to show it, I've tried to share it with you in just a manual way such that you can see how you can calculate it. In case you get to resign or in case you get to finish your contract, you definitely know where to start from and you know what to go and you know how much or how to calculate it. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much uh, for supporting. If you feel this video is very useful, please give us a thumbs up. I'll always be more than happy to get back to you. See you again in the next video. It's Max from the Max Creation.